like to discuss uh, a drink. It's actually a tea that you can consume to help you lower blood pressure. Now, of course, you want to find the root cause, whether it's a potassium deficiency or a vitamin D deficiency or some other root cause. But in the meantime, if you want a great remedy that has virtually no side effects, uh, this video is for you. And the antioxidants in this tea are actually stronger than green tea. Now, in the first study I want to talk about, there was significant blood pressure lowering effects in both systolic and diastolic. Systolic is the top number where you're measuring the contraction of the heart, and diastolic is the bottom number where we're measuring pressure with the relaxation phase. And in the study, they found that this T worked as effective as the blood pressure medication Captrophil. And it has a slight diuretic effect, but that's not the main reason why it works, but it may rid excess sodium, but it doesn't reduce potassium. And they also found some additional benefits from this tea that it can help reduce your triglycerides and your LDL cholesterol. Not to think that's bad if you're on the ketogenic diet, but if you're not on the ketogenic diet and your LDL is high, uh, this tea could be helpful. And another study, uh, 65 people, it was found that this tea significantly reduced systolic blood pressure compared to the placebo. And then in a meta-analysis, which they're evaluating a whole bunch of independent studies, the randomized controlled trials showed significant lowering effect in both systolic and diastolic with virtually no side effects. Because one of the big side effects with high blood pressure medication is something called drug-induced nutrient depletion. So when you take these drugs that help you lower blood pressure, you end up with a calcium deficiency, a potassium deficiency, and a magnesium deficiency. All three minerals as part of your electrolytes and then all three uh, mineral deficiencies can then contribute to having high blood pressure. So it's pretty bad when the side effect ends up causing the actual problem you're trying to treat. And then I want to mention another one that's interesting, a randomized controlled double-blinded clinical trial where the control was another high blood pressure medication called lisinopril. Now, lisinopril actually showed better results, but not by much. The group's uh, blood pressure started out being 146 over 97, okay? And then after the trial, the blood pressure went down to 129 over 85, which is pretty darn good. I mean, this demonstrated 65.15% uh, therapeutic benefit by using this T compared to lisinopril. I mean, that's, that's remarkable. With 100% safety, zero side effects. So what was this tea? Are you ready for this? Hibiscus tea. Hibiscus is this beautiful flower that they turn into tea. And the pigments in this flower are composed of the phytonutrient anthocyanins. And apparently it acts as an ACE inhibitor. And ACE is just an enzyme that's involved in the fluid balance within your body, as well as the blood pressure system. And that's why a lot of different uh, blood pressure medications are ACE inhibitors. So hibiscus tea is a natural ACE inhibitor. And so what an ACE inhibitor does is it lowers a, the pressure. It relaxes the vascular system and it's zinc based. So ACE is an enzyme and it's composed of zinc. And what's interesting about zinc is that if you have a zinc deficiency, that can contribute to high blood pressure. So there could be a connection between this ACE inhibitor being formed and zinc not being available. But the point is that zinc deficiency can increase your blood pressure. And you also have zinc deficiencies when you have a diabetic who normally has high blood pressure. And you're also gonna see a zinc deficiency when you have kidney problems and liver problems. And of course, with that, you have high blood pressure. So the antioxidants in hibiscus tea uh, are more powerful than green tea, which is fascinating. Now, you don't want to take this tea if you're on a diuretic, unless you check with your doctor, because apparently this tea does act like a diuretic. So if you're doing this tea and your blood pressure is being lowered and you're also doing a medication, you can end up with even lower blood pressure. So check with your doctor on that. Hibiscus tea has some other powerful benefits as well. Uh, there's been some studies that it can inhibit gastric cancer by up to 52%. It was shown the phytonutrients in hibiscus tea also have antimicrobial properties, which seems to be just as effective as certain antibiotics 
and even more effective than penicillin. There's also a study that showed that it can even help you decrease fat on your liver. So if you're going to drink this hibiscus tea, definitely do it for about six weeks to see the full effect. But in the meantime, you need to also get your vitamin D levels higher and your potassium levels higher. And for that information, I put a video up right here.